Is it just me or has Conor McGregor become a bit of a goofball? Something I thought I'd never say. When Conor McGregor came into the UFC, he was a young up and coming kid with huge talent, but more importantly, he had massive charisma. And I remember whenever he'd sit down for an interview, he'd come across as genuine, smart and confident. And that's why everybody was drawn to him. But maybe even more importantly, he was just like witty and funny. Nobody was better at cracking jokes and insulting other fighters than Conor McGregor. You look like a 50 year old retired skateboarder. <laughs> a little fat old man you look like. Which is part of the reason he became Conor McGregor. And I don't know if it's just me, but there's something about an Irishman or an Englishman that's quick witted and funny that people just find hilarious. Fast forward roughly 10 years or so, and I just watched the Anthony Joshua fight against Daniel Dubois. And no surprise, Conor McGregor was in the crowd in a three-piece colorful suit, acting like a complete tool. Only this time, I couldn't help but look at him a little bit differently. I didn't see the charismatic, talented, confident UFC champion. I saw a 36-year-old man who's won one fight in eight years doing the Billy Strut with an unlit cigar in his mouth for the entire night, like as if it was a prop for some fancy dress party he was going to or something. I can imagine him before walking out saying to his missus like, hey, should I put this cigar in my mouth? And then someone's like, well, actually, you know, there's a no smoking policy here at Wembley. And he's like, oh, whatever, I'll just, I'll just carry it in my mouth unlit and it'll look cool. Like I get there's a persona of Conor McGregor to uphold, which is this extremely brash, confident, cocky guy who doesn't give a fuck what anyone thinks. But for a little while now, I'd say probably three or four years, it started to feel way less cool and way more corny. And honestly, I think this started around the time that he fought Dustin Poirier for the second time. He was really humble in the lead up to the fight against Dustin, which I think honestly anyone fighting Dustin Poirier should be. I don't know why you'd have any reason to trash talk Dustin Poirier. For example, if you're fighting like a Colby Covington or an Ian Gary or someone like that, I completely understand trash talking and trying to get in their head and insult them because they've kind of asked for it. But Dustin Poirier isn't that dude. He's a great guy. And after he lost and they had their rematch, which was the third fight, Connor completely flipped and turned into a bit of a douchebag, to be honest. Dude, he talked to, he, he crossed lines you can't come back from, you know? Right. Yeah. Which, it's whatever, like, that's fine. That's the kind of Conor McGregor we've been used to. But when Joe Rogan interviewed him in the octagon after he broke his leg and he was still trash talking, not only Dustin, but his wife, Jolie. Your wife is in me DMs, hey baby. Hit me back on my track and let it on. You're looking big, you little hoe. To me, I feel like that was kind of the turning point where I was like, okay, this guy isn't really that cool anymore. This is kind of getting lame. And since then, in the last few years, we've seen countless Instagram videos and Twitter videos and appearances by Conor McGregor where he's trying to uphold this image. And to me, it just doesn't seem to be really working the same anymore. Filming your wife and the mother of your four children, giving you a blowjob on the back of your yacht, that's kind of fucked up, man. Like the internet is forever. That video, you can delete it. It's not going anywhere. What happens in 10, 15 years when your kids are old enough and they see that video? Not to mention like, that's just kind of degrading your missus, isn't it? Actually, I don't even think they're married. I think that's just his girlfriend or whatever that he has kids with. Anyway, or what about when he appeared at the Miami Heat game in a matching red tracksuit and knocked out the mascot. And then he runs into the toilet with, let's be honest, some fat chick. Or he shows up to this lame MTV award, whatever that fucking thing was, in a hot pink suit and throws his whiskey glass at Machine Gun Kelly. Like what's going on there, man? And we all remember the video of him sitting next to Cristiano Ronaldo, arguably the greatest football player of our generation. And he's clearly annoying the fuck out of Ronaldo by talking way too close to his face. It reminded me of like, you know that guy 
who you see at the party and you can tell he's on something and you know when he gets on something he gets way too chatty and he talks way too close to you and all you're trying to do is just get away from this guy because he's fucking pissing you off and he's spitting all over your face. That's what Conor McGregor seems like now. But honestly, probably the lamest video that surfaced was him attending some redneck party in America. I don't know what it was for and he was wearing nothing but just a vest and he's like on his own drinking in the middle of the dance floor and no one's talking to him or anything except for this midget woman. It was super weird. When I saw that, I was like, wow, this, this guy isn't really the cool guy at the party anymore. Conor McGregor is the guy who overstayed his welcome at the party. And by the party, I mean the spotlight. That's kind of who Conor McGregor is now. And I'm sure it's still lots of fun to be around Conor McGregor when he's partying, but like, mate, no one wants to see you making out with your missus on the dance floor or showing off your Rolex watch or walking around pretending that you're smoking a cigar. You're 36 years old, mate. You got four kids at home. Is this the best you can do? You're talking about running for president of Ireland, which I'm kind of behind, but like also you're acting like a 20 year old retard, to be honest. Honestly, I could go on and on about like all of these lame appearances that Connor's made over the past few years. And I don't take any joy in saying this because Conor McGregor is one of the reasons I became such a huge UFC fan. I'd followed the UFC before Conor McGregor's rise, but he's the one who really cemented it for me that like this is the most exciting sport in the world, hands down. I still remember sitting in a bar watching his fight against Jose Aldo thinking, wow, like this guy trash talked his way to a title and did everything he said he was going to do in the lead up to the fight and just embarrassed probably the greatest featherweight ever. And I think like everyone else, we thought Conor McGregor was just going to be Conor McGregor forever. That was just going to be a staple in the UFC. He was going to entertain us for years to come. But obviously that's not been the case at all. And the turning point was him being able to step away from the UFC and fight Floyd Mayweather for an absolutely absurd amount of money, which in hindsight, I'm sure he doesn't regret one bit. As far as the UFC career goes though, it just never panned out the way I think anyone would have liked to have seen it pan out. And there's been talks about the UFC icing him because of the new TV deal that's coming up. And apparently they want Conor McGregor to be under contract for this deal. And it sounds reasonable, like considering what the UFC's done in the past with people like Nate Diaz and Francis Ngannou, it doesn't really make sense to me because he was scheduled to fight Michael Chandler at UFC 303. Like they were selling pay-per-views. They were selling tickets on the gate to this fight. The fight was booked. If they were trying to ice him, they would never have booked that fight. That fight was going to happen. And if Conor McGregor really wanted to get back into the octagon, he would have. And we're supposed to believe that a pinky toe is what stopped him. And as Chael Sonnen said from the beginning, like there's really no proof that he actually had an injured pinky toe that stopped him from fighting. Apart from one photo, which we don't even know if that was his foot. It could have literally been anybody's foot. That's all the evidence we have. And a lot of people have been speculating on Conor McGregor's time away from the UFC, including Ben Askren and Chael Sonnen, who seem to be the most vocal in thinking that. This is purely a matter of Conor McGregor being an addict. It's pretty obvious to me that Conor McGregor is an addict. I mean, there's, there's videos of him partying constantly. Whether that's an alcohol addiction or a drug addiction, either way, there seems to be a shit ton of proof pointing to the fact that this is what's keeping Conor McGregor out of the UFC. At least once a month, we see him with a whiskey in his hand at some party or function or fight or whatever, and he's off his head. But honestly, we'll never probably know what the true story is about Conor McGregor and why he's been out of the game for so long. Considering our only sources of information are Dana White and Connor himself, who, let's be honest, neither of them are very reliable when it comes to telling the truth. Also, like, does Connor McGregor have any mates, any friends? Why is he always just sitting by himself looking kind of awkward with no one talking to him? If you were Connor McGregor and you got given free tickets ringside to like one of the biggest fights ever, would you not want to bring a couple of buddies along to hang out with you? Or does he just simply not have any friends anymore apart from Dylan Dennis, who like I could honestly make a whole video on how fucking retarded that guy is. And I understand that Connor worked extremely hard to get to where he is and he truly deserves all the success, all the money and to enjoy every single minute of it. But I feel like at some point, 
you can go too far and the pendulum can swing so far to the other side that you're no longer respected or admired by people for what you have achieved in your life. You're just kind of a clown that's always in the spotlight, which is honestly a shame because Conor McGregor probably inspired a lot of young men to chase their dreams and have some discipline and commitment and ambition. And now he's just, he's just kind of a dork. There's no other way to say it. But that's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. If you made it this far, please like and subscribe and share with a mate. Cheers.